What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we are going to be reviewing three different projects all in one video. So if you guys appreciate me doing these reviews, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Let's get right into it. So I've had a lot of requests to review Fandong Kongs. And I can see why, because, I mean, they're literally front page Magic Eden, number one. The price volume on them has been insane. So let's review their NFT a little bit. So when I first started looking into them earlier today, they were at three Solana. Uh, and now they dropped down to two. Let's refresh again and see if there's any changes. By the time you watch this, you know, it could be 10 Solana. It could be 0 0.5. We don't know. But the price of these has jumped all over the place i was watching them a little bit yesterday too but there's definitely some excitement around fan dong kongs so let's dive into their project a little bit more hop over here to their twitter which by the way if anyone from fan dong kongs is watching get them to add their website and their discord to their about section they are popping off right now people are researching them have it be easily accessible for people to access them but if you scroll down a little bit you know you can find their discord pretty easy Hop over to their Discord. Uh, a couple of announcements I wanted to bring up is one, it looks like they got botted during their drop. They said, we asked you guys kindly not to bot. We emphasized the only place you should mint from is the link in our channels. Yet we still had numerous users, both in our Discord and externally, attempting to guess the correct candy machine on our site. We will take the responsibility to refund all of the botters who were uh, who used the fake candy machines. You know, I think that if someone, if you set up those fake candy machines and, um, you know, people mint or people bought those, steal the crypto and put it towards your project. That's what Ivy Vampires did because we need to end botters in mints. So, you know, you might see this as an honorable thing to do, but I am so tired of people botting different mints and that just needs to be stopped altogether so that we have a fair and free marketplace with Solana and not all this manipulation and people botting and controlling supplies right from the start for projects that people are really hyped up about. So they are on phase three of their roadmap, which by the way, that's just my opinion. You know, make your own conclusions on what you think. But so on phase three of the roadmap, uh, roadmap right here, it's pretty similar to some other ones, but they do have some unique things with it. So they're on phase three right now. So they're going to make a donation here pretty soon to a charity that they pick from. Uh, it says we will match the total of the OG fund, doubling the initial amount. So that's pretty cool that they're doing some charity stuff. Uh, phase four, they're going to do payback royalties to current holders. So I'm not sure the percentage of royalties or how often that will happen, but they're going to do snapshots. And so royalties on a project that does 6,800 Solana volume within a matter of, what, two days? That's uh, it's going to be a nice little paycheck that some people are getting here. So uh, that's pretty exciting. But here's where it gets really good and different is airdrop spaceship to wallets that hold four plus Kongs. And they're going to do a sneak peek of the spaceship uh, given prior to the mint date. So spaceships should be another mint. But this really incentivizes people to hold four or more Kongs. So I'm very curious to see what the wallet distribution is on kongs uh because this is a pretty unique thing that they have going on for them and the last thing is they're coming out with dong token great name for it right there <laughs> but uh dong token created spaceship holders will receive extra tokens weekly uh and conclude on longer term roadmap with wider fan dong kongs community so they're basically you know roadmap 2.0 will be based off of hopefully a lot of what the community has to say but uh, pretty solid roadmap starting off. I can see why they're ranked so high. You know, people love apes and, you know, they're just kind of playing on that. But um, I think that, you know, they could be good, might be a good buying opportunity down here. But generally, you want to get in on all of these before they pop off. Uh, that's where you make the money in NFTs, not after everyone already knows about them. Sometimes it is after everyone knows about them. But most of the time, you make your money in NFTs before they pop off so at mint or right after mint all right let's get into the next project here which is baby apes baby apes is another one that has been requested over and over and over on this channel and i can understand why because this is actually a project i really like so baby apes they came out a while ago 
Uh, scrolling through here, they minted for 0 0.69. I believe they're up to about 2.7-ish now if you look on Magic Eden. But I wanted to do an overview of them because they aren't just a, uh, you know, just 10,000 pixelated, boring art, you know, whatever. Uh, but they actually have some things going for them. So let's go over their first part of the roadmap and then let's go into what they are working on right now. So 5,000 baby apes was the mint. Uh, like I said, 0 0.69 Solana was the mint price. 25% of creators fee will go into baby apes community fund. 100% of the community funds uh, allocation will be decided by holders of baby apes. A DAO system will be set up and fair voting system will be introduced. Baby apes clothing line, a proportion of the initial sales will go into the following investments. Uh, they're coming out with a Baby Apes clothing line. Uh, they'll go on sale on their website, physical pop-up stores for clothing line launched in cities around the world. So they're doing a big marketing play, which, you know, I like that. You could definitely see how they could put these guys on different merch, t-shirts, hats, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Future projects, collaborations, new collection, airdrops. The future is very exciting. So a pretty brief overview. You know, this is kind of their introductory roadmap that they showed to everyone before they minted. But let's go see what they're up to now. So they have this new staking protocol where you will be able to stake one baby ape plus 30,000 Oogie, which Oogie is their token. I'm not sure how hard it is to earn Oogie or what the tokenomics look like. I didn't do a deep dive on it. It's just a brief overview, but I like the application of their token. So uh, basically it will reward you 80,000 Oogie. Uh, these are initial estimates and might change and they're still working on these numbers, but pretty cool that you actually can stake and earn more and you can apply the Oogie tokens at soulcasino.io where you can uh, win real world prizes in here play different gambling games and stuff and this website takes oogie they take solana they take all types of different currencies so it's cool that they actually have a currency by owning you know a baby ape that you can apply on a website where you can actually play these games and win real world prizes so pretty cool stuff right there and if we scroll down here, you can see live that people are betting all types of different cryptocurrencies in the games that they are playing. So pretty cool. You could probably win some pretty serious crypto with this. Obviously, it's gambling and probably not the best way to earn, but it's something cool. And it's a real world application that they are taking their NFT and combining it with online gambling, which is pretty cool. You know, uh, it's something different about them and props to them for actually coming up with a real utility for their token, unlike so many of these other projects that are coming out now. So last one we're going to take a brief overview of is Monkey Kingdom. Obviously, most people have already heard about this one. I've just had a hundred requests to review them. So let's look at Monkey Kingdom real quick. So what is Monkey Kingdom? Uh, it is a legendary mythical creature capable of extreme mass destruction, <laughs> or so they say. Uh, Wukong has been magically imprisoned by the Buddha under a mountain for over 500 years. So they have a little bit of lore with everything. Um, there's 2,222 supply. And uh, let's go into that because there's not a whole lot of detail on this yet. I think there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that's going on and they're really big in the Asian market. So we'll see where it goes. But I mean, obviously they're popping off. I mean, they're doing really well. They ran way higher than this uh, before. I think they're at like 28, 30 Solana, something like that. They corrected down to 17.5 but they've done over 20,000 Solana in volume already, which is absolutely insane. And, you know, and I see a lot of people touting, oh, this is the new Solana monkey business. That's a really bold claim. That's a really, really bold claim. I wouldn't go that far, but there is something to this project being that there's so many people buying into it. I just, I can't put my finger on it as to what it is. Because when you look at the roadmap and stuff, and you can see that there's big sales happening for sure. I don't know how much, if there's any manipulation or anything going on with it, but 111 soul is not a cheap sale. It's over $20,000 US. And if we go down to their roadmap, there's nothing like really out there that makes me be like, this is a must own project, but there's obviously something to it. 
There are a few things I do like about it. They have an additional 10% tax applied on secondary market sales. They say 100% of the tax revenue will go into a marketing fund. The wallet will be shared publicly. Allocation of the fund and corresponding marketing material will be displayed on our official website. Please note, this is in addition to the 5% creator's fee, which is typically charged on all projects in the space. Uh, so, you know, that's pretty cool that they have an additional 10% tax that goes towards exclusively marketing their project. You know, they have a verified holder chat. That's all pretty standard. They are coming out with their own marketplace, which is cool. I do like that. Um, and then they also want to have people go. I guess this is kind of the big thing. Their holders are invited to an exclusive yacht party, uh, clubs, events in Asia. So that would be, you know, pretty sweet. But are you going to spend $20,000 to go on a yacht party? I mean, I guess some people will. I personally wouldn't, but it's pretty cool. They are very heavily targeting the Asian region, though. And uh, they're also targeting celebrities, influencers, and all types of other stuff. They want to turn this one into another huge, you know, global brand, kind of like Solana Monkey Business or Board Ape Yacht Club. Like that's their goal behind this. And they've clearly had some huge investors right from the start behind it. So that might be enough to really be like, okay, this is a a big, big blue chip. I'm sure they'll do stuff in the metaverse. You know, maybe they'll buy land in, um, you know, some of the different metaverse places like Sandbox. But, you know, it's definitely one to keep an eye on and, uh, you know, keep tabs on. But that's my brief overview of those three projects. I want to keep this video short. As always, if you guys aren't following me over here on Undervalued NFTs, I post what projects I'm buying into as well as I give free NFTs away. So if you guys like free NFTs, this guy here just won a free Eager Eagle and an NFT giveaway we just did. So if you want a chance to win some free NFTs, come follow me over here on Twitter. Catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>